Hi, it's SpyroBrandyCore.org, and this is a It's Been A While for Burnout Paradise. Now you say you only played the demo of this? Yeah, I played the demo a lot. A lot? I, 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 I mean, I, I loved it, but I never... This is back a long time ago, I didn't want to go out and actually play for the full game. I did the demo, but not enough for the full game. Oh, well, lucky you. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't... Uh, I don't like sports games, and I class driving games kind of as sports games. Like, I'd never play Forza or F1. Or... They're a bit different. Like Forza and F1, they're a little too. They're sort of. I I had. They I had, don't have an edge. I had Ridge Racer. You know, Ridge Racer. Yeah, I had I that. that. Um, game was brilliant because I could play it off the PlayStation um, just off the RAM. Like, put in the game, disc could spin, stop, take it out, put in a CD I want it, and I could listen to music. While playing the game off the RAM of the PlayStation One, that is awesome. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. But that um, is... yeah, I had that, and I had Gran Turismo, and that, that got a bit involved with the buying and selling of cars, and yeah, I mean, I I think that's what put me off uh, racing games. I never used to be a big racing driving binging fan, and then I like I got into the Need for Speed ones when oh, yeah. Underground came out because I mean, as I'm sure you're not surprised, there's a lot of car customization in there. I have no idea. The only thing I know about it is the soundtrack. I had to get Twinks the soundtrack. Yeah, that. the soundtrack was awesome. But there was a lot of customization options. Okay. So that dragged me in. And I started to get back into driving games. Then Burnout Paradise was announced. And See, now. I got the demo for that. One thing I, I <clears throat> say to everyone this isn't a driving game. No. It's a crashing it's game. It's got an edge. No, it's a crashing edge. game. Yeah. It's I, about to. Like, right now, game. this. Uh, I can't remember what this mode is called. What did we just finish? But I'm just flying down the street. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Insurance Board from Saints Row and Saints Row hey, what's that? What are you doing that? It's basically, um, it's Insurance Board. You, you're, rather than controlling the car, it's basically the same as what you do there, but you're a person rather than the car. Okay. You're throwing stuff out in front of cars, trying to do as much damage ah, okay. to your body, body as possible. That's cool. And but it's got a lot of cool This things. type, um, the, the takedowns, my favourite, I think, because it's all about making other people crash. Yeah. So like this one, grinding him along the post and... Yeah. Got it. I had a burnout game on the PSP and it was the same as that and it was kept me in the game for hours. Every time I get a new license or when I'm trying to get the license, I go for those ones first because they're just really easy. And fun. Yeah, really fun. Um, I don't like this one, the races. I don't like the races because I don't like the racing games. It's a crashing game. Luckily yeah. for me, in the races you can make people crash. Which, is, which has been a staple part of burnout for Ever. I, this is the only Burnout game I played, and I only I only originally played it because Gareth had it. I played three Burnout games. If you include the demo, this is all going to say. So I'm pretty sure it's. What other Burnout games are there? Paradise. Uh, I can't remember the names. So all right. But I mean, there was the original Burnout. Um, there was the Burnout on the PSP, which is the one I had a kind of what was called the category. Uh, but that was good fun. Um, yeah. But it's just I, I don't do driving games. Yeah. It's, Another it's good one. Split it's, 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 a second. Split second is a great driving game. Mm. It's got another edge to it. There's, it's not just driving, it's about avoiding, like, you have at one point you're being chased by a helicopter firing missiles at you. Oh, I've seen you play that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember you talking about that. You got dodged missiles. But, um, yeah, the racing element of this is just typical racing, but obviously you've got this boost power, and depending on what type of car you're in, you boost differently. This car I'm in is more of the sort of heavy muscle truck thing, um, and I get boost power for causing damage. Yeah. Again, I, I think that's how it works. I, 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 know yeah. I, cause, I cause a lot of damage and I get a lot of boost. If I remember the others, it's for doing like tricks as well. So if you do a flip, there's a stunt jump, part. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you do flips and oh, what? So in Burnout Paradise, is there, there are different types of cars. There is there. Right. So like you can have your fast car, your muscle car, um, your paint. I, 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 they're the only two types I can think of. The fast one and the muscle. One. Oh yeah, kid yeah. This is why it's my like heavy muscle car. I, that was a bad crash and I drove away. But I did happen to drive past the stunt run there because you'd have stunt cars as well. Yeah. Um, I should have recorded that because I like the stunt runs. It's basically you just got to tie together loads of tricks and right. you get multipliers and there's an achievement for getting over a million points in the Millionaires Club. I've planned out a route on it where I know there are loads of jumps and loads of billboards and stuff that you can smash and it will get me the million points. It's just I've got to do it without crashing, I've got to do it in the one go, and it's the, the flips mess me up at some you know, th There's a, a bit where I go on a bridge in a minute where I do an awesome flip, that's the bridge where I mess up. So, did it find on that bridge? Yeah, right. that was an accident, I was being yeah, chased. I, I, was being, I, I was running from people, but yeah. Some of the, uh, the, the bits here where you, your car gets wrecked, 
this game is infuriating. Oh, here's the uh, the bit where I do the flip. Totally planned. Totally planned. Yeah, I'll but believe that. Yeah. The when I was record when I was recording this to get the footage, I found myself getting really angry because you'd be driving, you're doing quite well, slight little catch on something, your car goes flying off in one direction, smashes off. How angry did that make? I. Not outwardly angry because I'm not like an outwardly angry person, but I was just there going. So we're not going to put you into anger management therapy. No, no, I'm being inwardly angry. The kind of people who do not get into anger management therapy. But it's, this game was so infuriating. I hate it. You played it. I know. You even went back and played it again so you could film it. Yeah, and that was the other problem. Like, I'm near enough complete this game. I'm trying to get the elite license. So every event I go into, really hard. Because like here, the um, the marked man's what I'm doing now it's where you're trying to drive from one point to another with about 20 cars trying to take you down. an amount of cars trying to take you down it was hard enough on the first license now, now on the elite. elite license there's like I wouldn't have made it through this if it wasn't for the repair garages because on this you have about I think like five lives basically you can get wrecked or taken down five times and, and then, 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 like, then you lose the mark man um, but if you go into a repair garage, you get all your lives back. And that's pretty cool. The other, you, yeah, I remember you use one. Sure. Yeah, yeah, use it in a minute. Yeah. But the other thing to point out about this game is the cars that you can drive, you get them by taking down those cars. You'll be driving around and people who drive normally are just normal people. If you see a car speed past you, you take that car down and you get it. That's cool. And then that car goes into your garage. That's what you know. I that's, just saw yeah. you, you drove around. That's how, that's how you gain cars. That um, is cool. You, so, you take them down, they get put into your garage, and then you have that car and you can drive it around. But does it happen like in races if you take certain cars down in races? Do you get Not in stuff? races, no, but no, it's just you'll just be driving, you'll world. be in the open world, you're driving around and it randomly happens. Because that's the thing about this as well, it's an open world driving. Very, around. yeah. Um, and some of the events you can only do in certain cars, they're called burning routes. So there'll, yes. be, there'll be a race event, but you can only do it in a specific car. So you need to. So you have to find get that, that find car. that car. So if you haven't got that car, you can't do that event. I, would, I can imagine that being a bit more frustrating. I have only ever done a couple of burning routes, and it's because it's the car I always use. This one. So I've only done the burning route for this car. All right. But yeah, and then when you win, you get a point on your license, and as you can see here, I am where's that? 78 wins or what was that? 79 wins away from my elite license. It's gonna take forever. I'm not playing this game again.